Body, baby, show me What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having an awesome day. So today's video, we're starting off with the sport track, of course. We're heading, we're getting ready to head up to AutoZone to pick up the part I ordered in Wednesday's video. So if you haven't already seen that, be sure to go check it out. Um, I had to get a second camber kit because little did I know, <laughs> the camber kit only works on one side. So I had to get another one. I had to go buy another one so I could do the other side. And the reason, you're probably wondering yourself, well, Jordan, why are you getting a camber kit? For those who don't know what happens when you lower a truck with torsion bars, um, when you lower or lift one for that matter, um, by doing a torsion twist, you will have some camber issues. As you guys can kind of see, mine has maybe maybe half degree degree. Um, but we have a bit of an issue. I'm having to drive it on that for about <laughs> the last like four or five months. And um, coming tomorrow, I'm gonna be able to have the money for a minute at least. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, pretty much, I get part of the money tomorrow, and then I'll get the rest of what I need to, I believe, a week or two from now. And that that big sum that I'm going to be getting in a couple of weeks is going to be to get new front tires, um, you know, getting the rack fixed because of my steering rack leaks, as well as um, the alignment to fix everything, including where I can go fix the tires. <laughs> um, because the plan is, is like I said before, we're going to lower the truck one more inch. Um, one, four inches out back and three and a half up front. And then from there, I'm going to go get it aligned probably the next day. That's the plan is we're gonna get the alignment scheduled for the day after we drop it one more inch. And then from there, um, I'm gonna go probably from there straight to discount, which is usually where I get my tires from. Um, I'm probably gonna try to order the tires online actually. That way I'll know they'll have them. That way I'm not going to discount. I'm like, well, we don't carry those. That way, I can fully replace them because I'm a type I don't like replacing tires with mism with mismatched tires. The previous wheel setup had that and it drove me insane. So I'm gonna get the exact same tires. Uh, those next ends up front. Um, when I get my performance wheel, my performance wheels, my performance tires, which are like drag racing and stuff, I'll have like a different setup. But for right now, I'm just gonna stick with what I have. Um, and then we'll talk more about it when I get back. But I think we're just gonna go ahead and head on over to AutoZone and pick up my other camera kit. Fast forward about 30 minutes, I'm back home. Um, camber kit number two is picked up, ready to go for whenever. There's the uh, camber kit there. Sorry to cut that, because I had actually shown my phone number and I don't want y'all calling me. Um, so that's the part number for it. We're good to go, I already checked everything while we were there. It looks just like the move kit. So we are, we're, we're golden guys, we're ready to get started on that. So. Um, I wanted to install in this video, but my brother and sister both have their little their little football game tonight. My sister trees and brother plays. So, obviously, can't do it tonight because they'll be getting home by like 9, 30, 11 o'clock, depending on if it's a home game or an away game. I don't remember. Um, so, probably won't be able to get that done tonight. I'm going to go over to Hayden's because of that. Um, oh, there's my oil consumption. So, for a lot of you guys who don't know the truck, <laughs> you guys probably saw it a second ago. This thing smokes a little bit whenever it burns oil because it's got a bad valve cover gasket which is going to be remedied with the new engine once that happens. Um, so that's why I haven't really cared too much about it. I notice it. I'm like, oops, well, I'll let it cool down and it's whatever because it's just oil. So um, I know it's not the greatest thing in the world of oil consumption issues, but it could be worse. It could be rings. It could be rings and I could be shooting out blue smoke. Thankfully, I'm not. Talk on everything. Um, but anyway, we're going to get on to the main topic of this video. Um, and I've got a question for you guys because... Um, it has two big implications here. So, like I said, I get this sum of money this uh, between tomorrow and the, ne and the next couple of weeks. Um, the main sum of money is going to be going to repairing the problems the truck has, the, the rack, the alignment, the tires, uh, as well as getting it dropped that extra inch involving this guy here. But what should I do after that? Because I'm still going to have close to a grand to play with. Um, so I, I don't know what to do exactly. I haven't really uh, figured everything out just yet. Um, <laughs> but I have two options. So for how much money I'm going to have left over, I can either A, wrap the truck, at least get the material for it. I may not be able to completely do the wrap, but at least have the color. I can have the material. Then I just gotta find a shop later on to get the money to and have it installed. Or if I really want to, I can try tackling it at home, which with, with this, and all of this 
bouginess. I'm probably probably gonna do is whenever we do the wrap, I'm gonna take these bolts out. This is what I did the roof rack delete with, bond over it, and we'll wrap over this as well. Cause these are actually very hard to find and are very easy to break. Um, and the adhesive starting to give. So we'll just wrap over it. That way it looks like it's there. Um, and of course the entirety of the front bumper will be a nightmare. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll get to do that soon. I like how people speed through the neighborhood and I'm the one who gets fussed out for it. But anyway, um, the next thing we could do, so we could get the material to wrap the truck. I won't be able to get it done. And I, and I won't even show you guys the color until it's done. What's the point in, what's the point of doing that? I'm not gonna reveal the color before it's on the truck. Would you crazy? Or we can do some stuff back here. And I'm pointing out in particular, involving this guy right here. So let me guys know the truck's exhaust setup is pretty basic. Stock headers, stock mid pipe, all that stuff. Um, only thing different is it's got a Flowmaster muffler on it versus the stocker. Um, it gives it quite a nice noise. I really like the sound it makes, but there are just a couple problems with it. It's too quiet. <laughs> And it's restrictive. And you guys know I'm wanting to race this truck in the future. At the drag strip, it's kind of a daily driver hybrid kind of deal. Kind of like how Michael's charger is, for example. My friend Michael and Kay Kindlestone, his charger, he daily drives it, but he will take it to the track and run. Of course, I'll take things a bit more extreme than that. Um, he runs on the street tires. Um, my plan is in the future, I'm going to buy a set of welds. I have already got the wheels picked out. And I thought about buying those. But what am I going to do with two welds without any tires on them sitting in my garage? Um, I'm looking at the weld S76 wheels. And... Um, I'll, I mean, it'll be full setup. I mean, it'll be a full drag pack. I'll have skinnies up front, fat tires in the rear. Um, but that's not going to be coming for a very long while. Um, so what am I proposing exactly? So we'll be taking my DNA headers that I already have and install them on the truck. I'm hoping to possibly do that when I get it in the shop for the rack. I'd love to get it done while it's there for the steering rack. And then from there, we'll be building. I'm going to want to construct a full one-off custom double helix X-pipe. Um, pretty much I'll just buy two cheap X pipes on Amazon because they don't make a specific X pipe for the truck and then building out of it a double helix X pipe and then coming out of the back I'll have two probably maybe three or four inch black and black tips uh, coming out the back um, in a standard straight out design. I do not like the cowboy style. I've seen a lot of people with the sport tracks run that recently on the on the Facebook group. You know, it's their truck, their, their, their decisions. I'm not a fan of the cowboy style. Um, I prefer to have the the big tips coming out of the back of the truck. So uh, I wanted to go quad tip, but I doubt that's actually gonna be able to happen because quad tips on a truck don't look really good. So uh, we'll probably just wind up going just standard dual exit. So I'm gonna leave you guys a poll in the top right corner of this video. Um, so help me out. Cause with this spare money, I could also just sit on it or I could even buy just the blower for my supercharger setup. Um, I'm gonna be going eating M112. I've had tons of people say go mod box, go mod box, go mod box. M112 is, is about the same price and it gives me a lot more upgradability down the road. If I want to throw, if I go crazy, want to put a Whipple 2.3 or the new Whipple Gen 5 3 liter on it, I can. Uh, you can't really do that with the mod box. It's designed specifically for the M90. So yeah, lots of stuff to think about, lots of stuff to ponder on to do with this thing. So give me your ideas because if you guys think I should do the custom exhaust, It'll be a lot louder than it is right now, but the tone will be exactly the same. At least that's the goal. If I'll be a bit more raspy because I will be cutting out the resonators or the resonator. Um, so be a little bit more raspy, but it'll be dual exit flow master. Uh, I didn't even mention that. I'll be adding another flow master to the equation if I do that. Um, but it's, there's a lot. There's a lot I could do with that. It'll be pretty expensive too. It'll cost probably close to the amount of the same money to do the exhaust as it will probably to get the wrap. Probably not $985. But um, it'll be pretty expensive, um, to say the least. And eventually, I can get if I buy the wrap, I'll put it in a box somewhere where you guys can't see the color, and then I'll take it to a couple. I've got a couple shops in mind already. I've got Atlanta Custom Wraps in Woodstock. I've got Hot Rods in Villa Rica, which is the closest to me. My cousin recommended them. Um, I've got our heck. I could just do it here. Um, I could do. I could try to do the hood. I could do the back. I could do like the tailgate, the hood. I need to get some body work done as well. So, I mean, there's a lot that's going to go into that. But you guys let me know. I'm going to have that pull up in the corner. You guys let me know what you guys think. I should do full custom exhaust, custom double helix X-pipe, Flowmaster 40s at the back. Uh, or should I wrap the truck? And I've already got my color picked out. It is going to be wild. I originally was just going to do plain black. But I want to do something crazy because it's me. It's the Rose Tires channel. we got to do something wild. So uh, I'm not going to tell you guys the color. But leave, leave your votes in the poll. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday, hopefully with the camera kit install. Um, and we can get ready to start having fun. Thank you all again. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,